So I believe this year is your year. So, please, because many of you, uh, when I look at you, in my heart here, I'm very happy for you. But I will tell you why I say I'm happy for you. It's because God wants to turn your challenge to a testimony. Amen. And, uh, but this challenge, is, uh, it's paining you now. It's really paining you. Every level it has got its own challenge. If you are promoted, you are going to meet another one, isn't it? Huh? So, like now, if you want to see, everything you do is a challenge. For example, I'm giving you an example. A hey, brother, you want to marry. You're excited about marriage. You're excited. And the marriage to you is a testament. The, way you, the day you put a ring here, you do that, you forget now that you've got a challenge now. It's no longer you alone here. Yeah. used to wake up, you kick the blankets. Now, when you sleep here, sometimes you cross the bed. <laughs> I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> eh? Now you must be everything on earth. Any promotion. The moment you start say, Amen. Amen. I got a testimony. Oh, God. God has blessed me with a job. You must wake up in the morning. Wake up, you run like this. You go like, that time when you're not waking, it was powerful. You wake up and say, ah, God, you'll give it. The day you get a job, it's like I'm seeing you. You wake up in the morning. You begin to fight in the road here. When you're inside the taxi, you don't have a car. Oh, God, oh, God, please, oh, God. You want to reach there before time. Everything here is a challenge. It has got its own temptation. Any blessing you are receiving. So... You receive anointing, you have received trouble. Witches will come. Now you are, you are crying to see the spirit. Demons will come and say, ah. <laughs> Everything. You just get money. You get 10 million or 20 million. Now, when you move around, you must check if there is someone who's looking at you. <laughs> Do it like this all the time. So, this is something that we need to learn. If there is blessing that makes you to be different, God will never give you that blessing. Yeah. Automatically, if now you want to be anointed, and your anointing is to prove someone, that anointing will never come. Yeah. You know, you will never receive anything from God if you are receiving it to, make, to cause strife. So I want the people here, after you are blessed, because I know you're going to be blessed. Amen. Can you hear this, this man who was saying he got a child? What is the Is he a man or a woman? What is he? So you got it. When was that? When did you get prayers? Let's hear. Get, get in prayer with your wife. What is your wife? So this is the wife also. <laughs> When did you get prayers for the pregnancy? The, the prayer. Yes, uh, man of God, a prayer. We get a prayer in November. November last year. Last year, yes, man of God. And, uh, can you see November last year? Now this is a pregnancy. This is June. November last year. Now it's pregnancy. This is June now. Mm -hmm. So this pregnancy is not over. Amen. Sister, it's not over. The moment you become pregnant now, now you will see what Satan will do. The same Satan. Yes. The same Satan now, because he's starting now. He started to bring attacks in the same stomach now. Yes. Huh? It's true, man of God. Huh? Yes. So now the same Satan who didn't want you to have a child will show you. <laughs> and now, if yourself now, you, you begin to carry this pregnancy in a way that... Uh, you know, it's like, it's a new thing, you lose it. Or the same pregnancy, Satan attack it yes. to cause problems. It's true, man of God. Right now, you can't pray the way you pray. Now you're pregnant now. So this is the problem I'm talking about. There are many people 
that uh, after God has blessed them, they forget where they come from. Yes, it's true, man of God. Huh? Because I think uh, the greatest battle I have now is for prayer. She's not praying. That's what I'm saying, that now you can't pray now. She's weak in prayer, definitely. So, so now you are nursing the baby. And that's the reason why God will never allow you to give you a baby. Because now you invite more demons now. Okay, look here. This is a problem. Do you know that it was good for you not to be pregnant? Because now, Satan that fight you not to be pregnant. When he sees you are pregnant now, he even call bigger demons than the one you were fighting. It's possible you won't give birth. It's possible. I'm not saying, I'm not cursing you. I'm trying to tell you how certain work. Yes. He will make sure because the devil wants this marriage to end. Yes, it's true. Huh? It's, it's true, true. Man of God. So now, if you don't pray, remember what you were doing before. You people here, another one will go there, another one will go there. And now God is trying to unite you. Satan works this way, he will make sure you block you. You must never relax after you have received something. You need to pray the more, pray the more. Amen. You hear me, my sister? Amen. Do you hear me? Sister? Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes, I hear you, Papa. Mm. So pregnancy is very dangerous. Many people die giving birth. Please don't cry. I'm just saying this so that you increase prayer. Keep watching Charis TV.